Glad to have you back. Next is Newspaper Review. And of course, we have joining us in the studio to do it with us, a journalist, uh, Chris Mwandu, one of our regulars. Good morning to you. It's nice to be here. Good morning, Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Good morning. All right. right. So we start with the punch, uh, of course, expectedly. Uh, ben Wikilins, if FG can't protect us, we will raise an army, says Unongo. No going back on anti-open grazing law. Or Tom, 73 slain victims buried amid tears. Sorrow. Quite emotional <sighs> yesterday, not very, just very for Benue people, mm -hmm. but for very all emotional. Nigerians. When you see the uh, lineup of corpses of um, human beings, and um, we have this saying in Igbo land that um, when they are carrying somebody's uh, scarves, it's just like a wood. Mm -hmm. But if your family is affected and you're directly affected, you get to know what that means. Uh, these are just not human beings. Uh, not just um, human beings, they're family members, some are mothers, some are fathers, some are brothers. And um, for some people, that is the end of their family because yes. some of them, ultimately it might be the providers mm -hmm. and um, for that family mm -hmm. and what's that going that means along that chain it has been broken the rest of them so and this is becoming just too many uh, for us day in day out we've been talking about this and it seems nothing seems to be and done. how worrisome is it really this uh, statement credited to unongo who is the chief leader uh, in chief nation and then the chairman of uh, northern elders forum saying that if federal government cannot protect and in that if the federal government fails in its duty to protect the, its, its citizens, that they will raise up an arm well, to protect that, themselves. Well, that reminds me of the general saying in Nigeria, you are, everyone is a local government to himself. Hmm. We provide our water, we provide security, we provide light with our generators and the rest of them. Uh, what he's just saying is just dubious. Um, if the government cannot protect you, then you, you, you go into self-help. In fact, that could uh, yes. also be out of frustration. That is out of frustration. The, the government so has not if, been able yes, to come um, to the so aid of if the people. The, the so. government uh, does it come to their aid then? Um, you won't just close a, a blind eyes to just allow your people to be killed, your family. But, but w one way or the other, the, the, uh, some section would say, you see, inciting uh, the people to raise arms. But I, I feel that to a great extent, it's a way of calling the government Directly. desperately it's to just, the situation. It's just, it's just a way of calling the government to order. And I, will, I, I just have to say something. President Buhari, who's, um, who's the president of Nigeria, the box stop at his table, he will not be remembered by the number of um, people he convicted and his anti-corruption or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's by the number of sh people that were killed mm -hmm. innocently mm -hmm. over cows. Mm -hmm. Quote that, over cows, not just for any other thing. People are being killed because of cows. Mm -hmm. And that means people are equating human life to that of a cow, an animal. And um, I will continue to say it. Are the you president will be yes, are you worried that this could become a political uh, situation? It because is already some, because... The, way some, the utterances of some people that you would expect to stand up and say the right things at this time, that nothing should be as important as a human life, really. But then some will say some things that Nigerians are not even happy about. It's not only politically social, right? right? Um, you listen to the statement by... Uh, by those that met yesterday in Enugu uh, from this uh, North Central. Come to think of it, North Central has joined mm -hmm. the, the South. The South. Exactly. exactly. That, is, that is political mm -hmm. because the North Central is part of the North. Okay, If they've decided to not um, um, uh, shake uh, across the okay. Niger or wherever and, and join the South, that means that their interest is not being protected. They seems their interest hmm. is not being protected in the North. And they'd rather join the South and get protection that just remain in the north. Exactly. And that is what is happening. Wow. Yeah. All right, so we'll go Well, to it's the really <clears throat> touching. All right, let's move to the nation newspaper. Uh, day of anger, anguish, tearful farewell for 73 victims of herdsmen killings. Well, uh, it has never really been this bad in recent times when it comes to uh, killing by militia. This is one of the worst uh, recently. Oh, but, reported? Uh, reported, exactly. Yes, reported. reported. Yeah, yeah. And uh, many people will certainly keep this in mind as, as they go forward. Yes. Now, uh, we have uh, Dangote retains Africa's richest with uh, $12.2 billion. Good news. Wow. Good news. <laughs> and, um, I hope that reflects in our I mean, Dangote of late, uh, not just of late, in recent time has been um, Africa number one mm -hmm. and probably the top. We did the top 20 rank exactly. across the world. And um, uh, this is a man that started practically from, I wouldn't say from nothing, but um, self-help. And uh, he has extended his empire, not only in Nigeria, but across Africa and other mm -hmm. parts of the world. And um, what makes him unique is that whatever he touches, 
turns to gold, not only gold, turns to diamond. We had the minus touch. It doesn't have the minus touch. The multiplier effect at that level is there. And then considering the fact that Nigeria is a gold mine market. It is. But what that goes to show is that if you put, we focus yourself properly and look at the right direction. Look at, he has not even started. By the time he finishes refinery, then he might just be another level. Within the top 10, He could be going towards the top five in the world. He's just cruising. The man has not even stabilized from what I'm seeing. Yeah. He's still cruising. Okay. <laughs> we have another headline, interesting headline here. Lagos generated 503 billion naira in 2017, says Ambody. That's an average of about 40 billion uh, monthly. That's half Fanta a trillion. Fa fantastic. Mm. Um, you know, um, some of us thought that we've seen it all with BRF. Mm. And now Ambody came and mystified everything. Mm. What the man is doing so awesome. Uh, it's, I just done that some, a few days ago, I posted on my on one of my social media handles that and Lagos people are complaining already that this man should just stop for now. Mm. I keep some of this thing for, <laughs> for the second time that this thing at the reach is going and this video is a CK you have seen nothing <laughs> more to come. Yes. Um, I think um, um, Governor Bode is well focused and um, sincerely uh, without sounding immodest I think someone like him is what we need at this time nationally sincerely mm. yeah uh, yes he's uh, someone we need nationally because um, you see that he's very focused. And one thing about him, he doesn't make noise about it. When the work is going, yeah, it's going to be obvious. Yeah. You don't have to convince people, I am working, no, no, I am no, no, working. No, no. no the work is there. The, the it's for the people the, and they will feel the it. The war speaks for itself. Exactly. He talk. Mm. And, and in fact, what is even more interesting is when the people are the ones singing the praise themselves. Yes. From what they feel, yeah. from what they see around their neighborhood. That is what so matters. you don't need any media person to come and tell you, this person is working. We're done this, we've done that. I was I was, I was. And the interesting thing really about it, this administration in Lagos is that uh, almost every uh, resident is seeing something done in around his neighborhood. His neighborhood. That is, that, 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 there is this spread of infrastructure being that, put in place. Uh, yes, I was construction with, going on almost everywhere in mm. Lagos. Yes, I was with my friend, um, the chief press secretary, Habib Baruno, two days ago, and I told him, my friend, this man is making your job very easy. Mm. <laughs> He's making your job very easy because exactly. you don't even the people you, are the mouthpiece now. Are the job, exactly. is, this is what is called word of man marketing. Mm. Mm -hmm. People go around, the fact is there, everywhere you go to, uh, you just see. Someone said, so just yeah, someone said, uh, when some people were discussing this, uh, I think last week, someone said, over syllabus is worrying of them. <laughs> 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 over syllabus, he has surpassed them. The man, the man, the the man, 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 the that mm. man has some eyes that he most of us don't. He knows how to choose people. When he picked up, I said, who is this one? Mm. Mm. So that uh, just a, a cheap person. And the guy came and papa. And when he came up with them, with somebody, mm. who, who is this one again? There's something about that man that uh, most of us don't even know. Mm. And um, I think... Uh, Sooner than later, that is a book. We'll, we'll start reading a book about okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll go to uh, mm -hmm. the Daily Sun. Uh, of course, uh, it's the same story, the major story there. Uh, Benry Goodnight. Indigenous in black attires as headsmen's victims are buried in mass graves. Mm -hmm. We may raise our army, says Unongo. Governor Almakura hits Otom again. Uh, talking about the political side of this one, instead of, you know, facing the issue and solving the problem. Yeah. We go atop uh, the, the masthead, beside the masthead. Handshake across the Niger summit. Mm. North, central, south, east, southwest, insist on restructuring. Urge Buhari to move against Hertzman. You talked about, yeah, talk about, about that, it before. Yeah. So we go down. Yeah. Rivers, killings. Police parade napped Kingpin. Killers of Kachiku's uncle to die by hanging. Uh, yes, so it's not just in the North Central that yeah. something is happening. Again, the problem of uh, of kidnappers, of courtists, uh, not just in the Niger Delta, but some are maybe in, almost across uh, the country. Yes, I, I, what we are facing now is general insecurity across the land, not just um, not just in the in North Central Benin, across the world, rivers and some other states. And um, if it's only bubble some of us. Not the fact that the government came into uh, into existence. We are just two basic instincts. Um, one, fighting corruption and security. Okay, if there was one, uh, one thing that sent out the last administration, it was security and it has to do with Boko Haram and the rest of them. But now we are getting something much, much higher than Boko Haram because the Fulani Hills presently have killed more people than 
-hmm. Boko Haram mm -hmm. put together. The statistics, all the the statistics there. Is, yeah. is there it's to show. Uh, I think the government should raise up um, to its responsibilities. And the book, and the, as we continue to say, stops on the, uh, on the table of the president. president. This is a former general. Mm -hmm. This is not just a civilian uh, president. This is a former general, a former military head of state. Mm -hmm. He should so, know what so to do. So he knows what to, to do. When it comes to security, mm -hmm. that should be his, uh, his number one priority. Mm -hmm. And he should do something about it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All right. Teachers sack. NLC protests rally grounds uh, Kaduna. NLC protests. Protest rally rather grounds Kaduna. Uh, many thought the Labour uh, members were not going to march in Kaduna yesterday with no. the tenant of security operatives across the state. No. But they, they filed all odds and they invaded every new concranny of the, of the state yesterday saying that we cannot be intimidated. We are going to speak up. Uh, against what you are doing that is not good for the civil servants in that state? Yes, I watched the uh, statement prior to the press conference by the, um, the chief press secretary to the governor who was talking like a militant, a military man. Um, the way he was talking, no, it will not, this is not a military regime. Hmm. It's not a military, we are in civilian, uh, civilian administration, right? And every person has a right to protest. That is, is enshrined in the law. Once it's peaceful, there is nothing you can do. To, um, um, Chief um, uh, um, Femi Falano several times has come on this program to say that Nigerians have the right to protest. It is it, what you do is to provide security to make sure that Absolutely. that protest was. But the way he was, he came out and was, I was so shocked that um, a chief press secretary to a governor could be talking in, in that room. But good enough, they remedied that with the guy that I don't know the name of the guy, the another media okay. head that addressed the uh, the NLC. Um, Officer, uh, officials um, yesterday, that was, that was how to talk. You have to be civil. Mm. The people you are talking to are educated people. They have a right to protest. And he spoke in a manner that I, I, I think he probably had to take away from that chief press secretary because he doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't have to say that. It's causing more problem for the governor. Mm. And since the governor wasn't around, it was good that somebody came to address them. Yeah, exactly. And you sack about 20,000 people. You say they shouldn't talk. Mm. No, they need to talk. Mm. If, they, if the protest has been... Uh, violence, then we can say, but it, as you could see, it was very, very peaceful. peaceful. And very peaceful. any protest led by the current NLC president, the rest are sure that it will be peaceful. Okay. And that's what we've seen. Okay, so lastly, uh, I will produce my successor, Okoro Chabos. Mm. Appeal court mm. chides <laughs> governor on Eze Ilamwanya. Mm. Uh, that's, <laughs> unfortunately, that's my governor. Uh, <laughs> did you say unfortunately? <laughs> unfortunately, that's my governor. Uh, well, I wish him well. Uh, it's not for him to tell us. The more people we decide who we, mm. who we preside over them, it come to it. We used to have somebody in the state, put and quote, in those days, if you speak Ibu, he was called Ikiri. Okay. Mm. And um, Ikiri on uh, Hakim. Mm. And um, he also made such statements and addressed it. But mm. only one thing. Politics is give and take. Give and yeah. The guy Never was involved with just a scandal <laughs> about the Reverend exactly. Father or no Fred. And that was in the. Father, he beat all his trap or whatever. Yeah. And that he was the end. Uh -huh. no. mm -hmm. So I wish my governor well. Uh, <laughs> the people will decide. Yeah, he's been quite bold, really, in his outburst and in his disposition. Maybe because he's is an APC governor. No, in the southeast is. It, it's it, favored. Sincerely, in my personal opinion, this is a governor we had so much uh, for when he was coming, so much goodwill. And um, I don't think whether he had been able to stop life within that goodwill. Just like the president. The president had so mm. much goodwill in coming 2015. Mm. If you ask me now whether I still have that goodwill, I just, mm. uh, some of these guys, when they get to there, they get demystified. Mm. And that is what is happening in Nemo. Yeah. Yes. So All right. Uh, let's move to the, the last but not the least now. Vanguard newspaper declared Mieti Allah terrorist group. Southern Middle Belt leaders at the handshake across the Niger summit in Enugu. And uh, this has been on. Uh, this is bringing a new uh, that, paradigm shift now yes, to the should, narrative. Because, yes, because iPod did less. Mm -hmm. way, way, less. Way, way, way less. Way, way less. Way, way less. Of course. Okay. And they, they were declared uh, a terrorist, terrorist group. I remember so the, within the, the, short, the within short time. period. And I remember the arms listed that yes. IPOP members were using Reason stones, mm. sticks, and all that. Bottles and the rest Bottles. of them. Yes. These are people marketing and behaving people. Mm. Exactly. So they are terrorists. All right. We, we also so have um, NLC defies uh, uh, five police storm government house over a sack of 21,000 uh, teachers. We've talked about that. Then one. Last headline from here is 15,000 Cameroonian refugees flee to Nigeria amid crackdown. Yeah. We've been following yes. the uh, southern Cameroon. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's another one mm. again. Um, the, 
the southern Cameroon um, people who are yeah, initially were part of Nigeria. If you remember, yes, exactly. They were part of mm -hmm. Nigeria before Until they decided. The plebiscite. The plebiscite, and mm -hmm. they agreed to move yeah, out absolutely. now. So there is a, a kind of. And um, now they seem they are wishing to come yeah, back, to to back to Nigeria. <laughs> that's <laughs> ironic. That's ironic. Yes, yes, that's ironic because you know why they are of the English speaking side of the Cameroon is into two. Is the English speaking side and the French speaking side. These are the English speaking side of. Cameroon and they've been getting the a South lot West of and the yes. yes, and then they're getting a lot. Of, in fact, some of their leaders were just picked up in, in, Abuja, in Abuja, Abuja a few days mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. And um, this thing. so I think um, probably uh, it's time for that man to be. But I, like I, I him, think uh, the president could have handled that issue differently. Mm -hmm. Apart from trying to there. impose uh, the French on the people, get rid of their, of their English uh, Anglophone traces and all of that. You know, after they end up. Um, Amadou Ahijo, who was the former president of um, Cameroon, and probably came in. Uh, he started well, but when you continue to see that this is a man staying there for about close to 40 years now, he has lost touch with but, realities yeah, and the rest of them. Yeah, the world is not even talking uh, talking about this as, as expected because Bia knows how to, to keep it under, under wraps, and that's by shutting down internet in the two regions of mm. the Anglophone. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, um, the, the, their colonial masters have a lot to do with this. When the French don't see this as a problem, then definitely it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Mm. Until the French sure. government mm. starts shouting and some other groups within that period start within that area start mm. shouting and this and that it becomes a national problem. Yeah. If, but once they keep quiet and like, that's what that's that's what happens. We remember yeah. the uh, successful sit at home protests in the in the southern Cameroon yes. a few years yes, ago, yes, which was very, very successful. Very, very successful. Very successful. In fact, at the point we are saying, oh, this is what Nigeria should be doing. Exactly. You know, we're looking at Nigeria, <laughs> but you remember. <laughs> and the iPod, iPod at the time tried to adopt that. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It wasn't too tidy. All right. Chris Wandu, thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. All right.